friends, I am Sajatana. Welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this video, I'll be doing the PUBG gameplay test in the Realme uh, 7 5G device, which has a Diamond City 800U processor. So this can be applicable to all the Realme phones which are using the Diamond City 800U processor. So right now, I'll try to cover the PUBG gameplay review on this phone. So I was using this phone for the past, I think, close to 15 days of using this device. And so many users, they did request me to uh, put out so many videos on this Realme phone regarding the Diamond City 800U processor and finally I got some time to do uh, this kind of review on this device so let me quickly uh, show you the about phone settings and you can see your Diamond City 800U processor clearly so which I was using here so I'll try to talk about all the things what are the settings you can use whether 90 FPS is possible or not so what is the gameplay how is it uh, while gaming as well I'll try to talk each and every topic and before that let me even show you the uh, display properties exactly I'm using the 120Hz to show you that in case if the phone supports 90 hertz you should be able to know that i'm using the maximum uh, fps so 120 hertz is also enabled and now let me try to quickly open the pubg uh, game here and use the pubg game and uh re recently when uh, the phones so many phones will be launching with this kind of dimensity 800u processor in india so you should be able to know whether uh, which phone is better for the gaming so even i do have the dimensity 1000 plus from the realme only the, this is a realme x7 pro which has got the 1000 plus dimensity processor so in case if you want to know about that processor so make sure to check the links in description even uh, those details as well so right now as you can see friends the game has been opened successfully So let me try to uh, show you exactly the settings of uh, what I am using right now. These are graphic settings and I'm using the smooth and ultra settings at the moment as you can see. So there is no smooth and extreme settings unfortunately. So only the default settings is of smooth and ultra only. So that's a really really huge uh, disappointment friends. So the processor is very, really good the Dimensity 800U. So the Android benchmark scores was around 3 lakhs 30,000 but still the graphics settings uh, I'm unab unable to see smooth and extreme so by default you can only play with the smooth and ultra settings unfortunately that is a biggest drawback here so in case if you want to want to use the smooth and extremes you need to use the gfx tool that is only the way you can do it and uh, there is only hd so, uh, support that is the maximum you can go up to so there is no hdr uh, support in this device unfortunately as you can see so there's uh, so much of software updates need to be done to make it happen but i don't uh, believe that it's gonna happen very soon but if you use the gfx tool that will happen definitely uh, if you are using gfx tool but without using any gfx tool it's uh, you cannot uh, do it uh, without using any kind of gfx tool so by default you won't be able to uh, play at uh, smooth and extreme settings unfortunately friends so let me try to uh, start the match and so that you can see exactly the gameplay how it is and the real time fps count meter on the top as well how much i was able to get so during this uh, gameplay with the smooth and ultra settings i am using right now so let me try to quickly show you the smooth and ultra settings friends everywhere so uh, definitely if you uh, f use this kind of smooth and ultra settings you will feel lag uh, if you are using but if you don't want to uh, use the gfx tool then this is what you need to deal with the phone with the dimensity 800u processor device so 39 and 40 fps you are getting here 38 fps as you can see your friends clearly 38 and 40 So uh, the phone has a 120Hz refresh rate support this model, this variant and few of the other variants they are not supported with the 120Hz. So they do have only 60Hz but with 120Hz uh, I cannot even see the 90 FPS. I don't think it is possible at the moment without using any GFX tools. So uh, even to get the 90 FPS you might be able to use the GFX tools in this phone. So overall friends with the smooth and ultra settings the gameplay is uh, not so smooth as expected you will feel definitely lag while gaming. So let me try to uh, show you the real time FPS how much I am getting right now. So you can see friends 39 FPS and 40 FPS only. So I'll try to do the side-by-side -side comparison with the Snapdragon 750G processor as well. So you might be able to see the difference with the Snapdragon 750G side-by-side -side if I do the PUBG gameplay test. 
so you might be able to understand uh, which processor is best and how much the difference can it be there between both of the uh, processors. So make sure to subscribe to my channel friends for more uh, this kind of interesting uh, videos and updates on the Android devices. So you will be getting to know more and more interesting uh, things about these both uh, small phones and there is also a playlist available in the links in the description below. That playlist will be helping you a lot in terms of deciding which phone uh, to buy as well. So make sure to check that uh, video. So let me try to uh, show you the real-time FPS. I am getting only the maximum 40. So it did not even cross 40 FPS. That is a maximum. So that's it friends. This is a quick uh, review on this uh, PUBG uh, gameplay in this uh, Realme uh, phone which has the Dimensity 800U processor. And for more videos make sure to subscribe to my channel Sci-Tech Guru. And thank you friends for watching this video. See you in the next video friends. Until then. Bye.